Hi, welcome to showmethecurry.com. I'm Hithal. I'm Anuja. And today we're going to show you how to make mutias. Now these mutias can be had alone with tea. They're basically little dense pakoras or vadas and they're made out of chickpea flour or besan. But what we're going to use them for is to make and include in our undiu recipe. So it'll be the same recipe when we get the undiu. Right. Going. I thought I'd let the undiu talk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say a whole lot today. <laughs> All right. So it's a pretty simple recipe, simple ingredients. So we have one cup of chickpea flour mm -hmm. or besan right here. To this we're going to add quarter cup of suji or semolina, quarter teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of sugar, one teaspoon of sesame seeds, one teaspoon of salt or to taste. And we're going to mix this together. Just make sure there's no big lumps in our basin. Into this now we'll add one tablespoon of oil. And mix it again. We want to make sure the oil gets incorporated all the way into the flour. So now we're going to add a few leaves. We're going to add half a cup of chopped fenugreek leaves. Now it's better if you can get fresh ones. We unfortunately could not get our hands on fresh ones, so we yeah. got using frozen. And we've got about 12 sprigs of cilantro or dhania we've chopped up. And green chili paste to taste. So it's approximately about a size of one serrano is what we have used. But, but again, it is to taste. Right. And one teaspoon of lemon juice. And we'll mix this through. Now if you don't have frozen fenugreek leaves or methi or even the, the fresh ones or frozen, you can also use the dried methi leaves, which is mm -hmm. like a suri methi. Yes. Um, you just have to soak it in a little bit of water and let it be for about 5-10 minutes and then just drain out the water and then use those leaves. Still give you the nice methi flavor. Now we're going to work this into a dough and we're going to need a couple of tablespoons of water, but it'll depend on what kind of methi you're using. So we're going to add about one tablespoon at a time just until it makes it into the dough. So our frozen methi had quite a bit of moisture in it, so one tablespoon of water is all we needed. And we're just going to work through this dough, make sure there's no lumps and everything gets incorporated well. And it's okay, it should be sticky like this. And we also have oil heating up for deep frying, so it should be ready by the time the mutia is ready. So while our oil is heating up, we're going to divide this dough into small, small portions, or the mutia. And it's a really sticky dough because it is chickpea flour. So we have a little bit of oil here. We're just going to oil our hands lightly. It's going to help it not stick to our hands. And then we're going to take a very small portion. Now this dough, when it's fried, it expands because the suji is in there. So you want to take a real small, like about a teaspoon amount of portion, roll it in your hands, and make it into an oval like that. You'll have tiny little mutias, bite-sized mutias. And we'll continue on and make all these mutias and then fry them. So our mutias are prepped. And we, they made approximately 40 pieces. So I think this is a perfect size. Once they you know, are fried, like Hethel right. mentioned, they are going to become a little bigger. And uh, they will be perfect bite-sized pieces. So right. the oil is hot. Right. And the other thing is, you can make them as big as you want, really. Mm -hmm. But I know from experience, everybody's fighting for the mutia when you put them in undiu. So if you make them a little smaller and bite-sized, they kind of spread around a little more, and more people get to enjoy them. Right. <laughs> so we're going to fry these now. So our oil is hot. It's ready. It was heating up on medium heat, and it's definitely not smoking. You don't want that. So we're going to start dropping the mutia in. Now the tip is, you might just want to keep a little bit of oil on the side. Put your fingers on that, around that and then start dropping them in gently. And anytime you're frying, please be very careful. And we're going to gently move the mutia around a little bit so that they get even coloring. And we're going to allow them to turn a little golden brown. When some of them look done. I'm going to pull those ones out. Again, move them to the side. Get all the excess oil out. Take a paper lined uh, towel, put it on a plate and we're going to just transfer them. So our mutia are fried and they're a beautiful golden brown color. Mm -hmm. And like we said, you can have this with tea, you know, just enjoy them by themselves. Or you can use them in undiu. So right. there you go. Yeah. So we're going to keep these aside. So join us again for undiu next time on showmethecurry.com. Adding a pinch of spice to your life. Mm -hmm.